Hello everybody, welcome back to some control. Now this might be a weird place to start off, but uh, after I finished recording last time, I uh, went through and found, I, well, I looked up, and it's a good thing I did because I wouldn't have found a lot of them anyway, uh, the rest of the secret areas that we didn't find in the main game, and I found a few new files, including another America Overnight episode. Uh, I got a skill point for each of them, except for one, and I don't know if it was one that we had found before or not. It's the beginning of it did, but falling down into the mo or the yeah no the mold didn't really. It seemed to like I didn't quite remember that, but anyway, I did it because I went through and I got all of the uh, achievements from the main game that we were missing. So that's why I have a thousand and ninety gamer score now. And then I think, mm, yeah, and then that's all should be foundation achievements, I think. A couple of these don't even have gamer score attached to them. That's interesting. A lot of them don't, but they're all the secret achievements, so maybe it just doesn't tell us. Anyway. So yeah, I went through and found all those. Put us at 50 achievements. I think I have all the base game achievements now, unless some of those secret ones are something that I don't know. But anyway, so we're going to start this one off by just going through what we, uh, what I found. You're listening to America Overnight, broadcasting the truth no matter the consequence for 29 years and counting. Thank you for staying up with us. We've received an interesting letter here at the program. If you'll uh, humor me, I'd like to read it. Dear America Overnight, I can feel myself becoming gigantic. It's constant, a growth in all directions, in each cell. Only when I measure myself, it says I'm the same height. I weigh the same weight. I've read that the universe is expanding. If that's the case, then 5'3 is taller than what 5'3 was yesterday. I feel it all the time. This expanding. I always have. I don't know why. Sometimes it's all I can do just to ignore it. People write about the universe expanding like it's happening slowly, but it's not. We were the size of mice yesterday. Now mice are the size of us, and we are the size that mice will be in two days. How long can this go on for? There must be an end, right? A limit? An edge? What happens when we reach it? Does anyone else feel this? Can anything be done? And that signed Kate from Michigan. Well, how about it, America? Have you felt the universe expanding? Do you know how to stop it? Should we even try? America Overnight will be right back. Hmm. All right. I was looking up the secret achievements in between, and wow, yeah, I, uh... I, I guess I should probably look those up before because I need to work on those. Anyway, picnic basket procedures. Item to be stored in a black rock paneled cell. Keep away from lab animals when not in use. A simple wicker basket with cloth lining. No food items inside. The item produces a hypnotic effect that solely affects non-human animals, forcing them to congregate passively around the object. Animals from every genus and species that have thus far been tested are susceptible. Single cell organisms do not appear to react to the effect. Item was taken to a forced upstate for testing. Results of the test provided contradicting data as some of the attracted animals exhibited hyperaggressive behavior. The exercise unfortunately resulted in redacted. Further testing should be restricted to make low risk animal species with medical staff on standby. So I don't know if this is some kind of like weird Yogi Bear reference. I mean, it says that it congregate passively but then hyperaggressive. Not maybe just to make it more interesting. But anyway, Pink Flamingo. Agents noticed the transient commonly found outside the entrance of the Bureau headquarters who carry the item and loudly claimed to be responsible for the lack of inclement weather. The frequency of these claims attracted the personal interest of Dr. Darling. In interviews discussed as casual conversations, the transient reported that the item gives me clouds when it's hot and sun when it's not. An event of note occurred during a heavy downpour when the banker was witnessed performing a possible ritual with the item. Dr. Darling reported a wait of redacted seconds before the rain stopped. The vagrant was seized the next day after redacted, 
He was found to possess no redacted and was released. The item remains in Bureau of custody under suspicion of altered status, though this still has not been proven. All known variations of identification formulas have failed to elicit a response from the item. Okay. So we, the pink flamingo may or may not control the weather. Got it. All right. So. Astral constructs, weapons. Oh, what do I need? I need some more shaded facets. So there is uh, one achievement that I got was for spending 100 points. As you can see, this looks more or less the same as when you saw it. I did have to alter it a bit in order to unlock the, uh, what is it, shield barrage, shield barrage ability. Um, are you telling me I can still do anything? Like, can I, I guess I could make these, but I don't have... Oh, weird. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, it turns out I need to do some shit with this surge thing. What is this? Nope, that's no good. Whoops. Uh, let's go in here. Okay, so the grip can keep theirs. That won't do anything. I think this is purely for... Yeah, charge blast boost. Uh, up here we go. Damage, I agree. Unequip that one. Because I don't know how strong this thing is. Alright, well, I guess we'll just hope to get more of those after. So, yeah, I need to do some things with Surge here. Press right trigger to fire, and then right trigger to detonate. Okay. Alright. <sighs> Whoops. So, one other thing that apparently is a thing in here. Okay, if I do it, will you let it go? Ah, I wasn't sure if that would get it. Oh. Okay, hang on. Let's do that. Oh, come on. Damn it. Oh, wait. Did I get it? Work smarter, not harder. Oh, God. Oh, I think I might still have the cheats on. Yep, sure do. Oops. Okay, well, let me just finish this fight. And then I'll turn those back off. Okay, so the other things I had to do was fully upgrade Surge. And, uh, kill a bunch of enemies with it. Alright. That was my bad. I forgot that I was still running around with those on. Last time. Uh, there we go. They are now disabled. Hopefully. Alright. So anyway, the other thing that I was saying that there's apparently vending machines in here that, can, that, that have a chance to be altered. And I need to, I don't know, it said to destroy 80% of them. So I need to find a vending machine, and apparently if you shoot it or something, it will, uh, it might waddle away. Yeah, like that. Oh my god, look at it cruise, like fuck! Holy hell. Oh god, don't hit me. Oh wow, look at it. Wow, it really took off. I didn't think it would go through doors. Uh, does that mean I lost it? I think I may have lost it. Uh, 
Wow, yeah, I was not expecting that in the slightest. Damn. Holy shit, it really took off. Okay. Oh wow, it does drop stuff though, a bunch of stuff. Okay, I did not expect to find one that quickly. But let's keep heading back for now and see if I can spot any other ones. Because the achievement said to destroy 80% of them. Apparently your game can bug where you get none, but... Don't, I mean, theoretically though, if you don't have any, then... I also don't know if that counted as being destroyed. I doubt it. I mean, it disappeared. But I think that it just disappeared. I don't think that it... That I actually... That that count, would have counted as being destroyed. But yeah, I wasn't expecting that in the slightest. Like, damn, that thing really took off. Okay, not in there. I also don't even know where all they can be. Like, okay, so not that one. Uh, does that count as a vending machine? Okay. Let's see for distance. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I guess there wouldn't be one in the office, though. I'll write this hallway. Ass hallway. Still don't quite understand what's supposed to be happening there. Besides, you know, it's like, oh, this should. Look cool. Okay, not that one. Oh, well, whatever. Should be fine. Nope. Not that one either. Apparently these sticky things though don't do a huge amount. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna bother to go back through that. All the way back to the sector head office? Nah. Anything will fast travel back there. I'm not gonna... Because I think I'd have to fly through all of the... Uh, the fire break, and I'm not bothering with that right now. Oh. See, I don't know, like, the thing I read didn't really seem to give much of a strategy on on them. Ow. Wow, these things suck. These fucking sticky mines. I, the fact that they damage me as well is really what does it. I mean... Maybe I should just stick two on it, but... Yeah, like, the blast radius is huge, but the fact that it damages me as well really makes this... I mean, because... They're also not very fast. I wonder if maybe the projectile speed would work on them as well, because I was going to say, like, if you hit something that was moving, you know, then you would, you know, get the explosion, but... Any up 
up here. I mean, it seems like that could replace his enemy for any machine, but nope. Oh, here we go. Yep. God, the blast radius is nice, but... Good Christ! Are we good now? Are you done with them? Fuck. I hate that spawn. Just the, all those little fuckers. Like, Let's see. Can I use it to clear this? Like, Yeah, I mean some of it. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a vending machine in there. I doubt there's one up here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> okay. So there wasn't one back here, but that's not too big of a surprise. Uh, okay, we already went through the operations corridor, operations center. Is there, I mean, if any machine in here would make sense as well, right? Because, I mean, they have a break room. I wonder how many of those you can put up. Okay, well, that many machines bust. don't know if there's gonna... Well, I guess maybe in over here? I mean, people need drinks, right? Uh, apparently not these people. Uh, I guess it really wouldn't make sense for it to be up here. Maybe outside the door, though? Eh. Uh, let's see. Oh my god, Langston, will you pipe down? Like I'm put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different, like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. Uh, yeah, no people more here. The items like I do, you know? But yeah, it is interesting that we have like a rogue a altered item that apparently doesn't take into account like, right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, oh. but when he's with us, right. it's charming. Altered items really aren't that frightening. I wonder how long you have to kill it, then. If you figure out what they, they like or don't like, you know, what sets the Uh, this way is the way we've already like. been. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals, scared... Kind of wish I had a map with that, which just like, here's where they can be, because then I could just fast travel, but... I mean, I have no idea where the, uh, where vending machines could be, like. Especially if it's, like, an altered item. Like, I don't know if there's vending machines in set locations, and there's just, and it will just, like, possess one of them or something, you know? Or if it will spawn. Or if it's like a separate vending machine. Hmm. 
Well, it worked well to clear that at least. Yeah, I'm not doing the bureau alert. I already did those. I got it. Holy shit, they drop a lot when you, you destroy them. Holy crap. Wow, that's a lot of crap to go through. But, I mean, I would like... Damage while on low health. Well, that I'm not... Oh, here's just a regular damage boost, though. Oops. Oh, right, it's only got two slots right now. What is this? Rate of fire. That doesn't mean anything to me. Alright. Oh, well, actually, let's see. Did it give me any good things down here? C speed 53. Nope, I already got a better one. Uh, good God, it gave me a lot. Oh, oh. Two, three, one. Okay, so there's one. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know how many there are. I don't know if that first one even counted. Apparently, though, I should just detonate those instead of switching. Because as soon as it moved, they first, you know, they're not apparently sticky is in quotes. It's like it's sticky, you know, unless the thing moves. Maybe it's just the vending machine that it can't stick to properly or something, but either way that seems like kind of nonsense. Okay. Uh, would there be a vending machine? Probably not. Kind of wish I'd known about this before. Because having to backtrack to find something like this is kind of crappy. Uh, but no. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's a vending machine in here, but that does make sense. Also, just gonna go out on a limb and assume that they aren't in areas where I can't see. Although in this DLC, that's quite a few areas. Now, it wouldn't make too much sense to have any in here. I wonder, does this destroy walls better? Uh, yes, yes, it does. I don't think. I mean, I guess they could have one in here as storage, and, I, and also, like I said, I still don't know if, uh... I might keep this attached, even after I get the, the kills I need for it. Because it seems like even if it doesn't do... Well, I mean, it probably does decent damage, but the fact that it takes two shots to kill those guys, the... Explody guys, suiciders there. That seems like a bit much. Uh, I mean, any sense for a vending machine here either? I mean, I feel like not really, but I mean, it's a weird place. Maybe they do. The bridge operator has one. To be fair, it's kind of weird that the building like this would have vending machines anyway, because I mean, that means that they have to hire somebody 
to go out and buy the stuff to then put it in the vending machines because like there's no way that like obviously most businesses just have a company that comes in and does that like you know they uh i'm assuming the machines are rentals like the vending machines uh and then there's a company that comes in and fills them but i mean obviously secret government well more or less secret government agency seems unlikely that they would have uh, <laughs> that they would risk having some random guy from the vending machine company come into the hell is this a chain letter <laughs> I remember these mom used to say they were evil hmm. better do what it says you know hmm. just in case there must be a photocopier around here. Oh, it's okay. I still want to wait for it to recharge. Nope, not that one. But hey, every vending machine we find, that's one more to check off. Unfortunately, they don't really have much in the way of, well, anything in the way of achievement tracking in this game so finished snake pass though you may have seen the post i made got the got all the achievements started that game was like oh, i'll get all the collectibles i probably won't bother doing it without dying uh because like everything i read was like i uh, made it seem like you had to play through the entire game without dying like not using replay mission or anything you know Thankfully, not a thing. If you replay the mission and not die, that counts. Uh, so yeah, did that. Nailed it. Uh, actually, it wasn't too bad. There was some very annoying bits. Uh, but sadly enough, the complete the game without dying was not the annoying bit. Uh, getting all the collectibles was definitely harder. Because, like, to complete the level without dying, right, uh, every level has these three crystals that you have to collect, and then you make it to the exit, and then you leave, and that's the level, right? And then the collectibles, uh, a lot of them are in your way, some of them are out of the way, some of them are actually hidden. Uh, and then a few are actually hidden, where you, it's like, ah, it's easy enough to miss, right? But uh, getting all the collectibles was definitely harder. There were some of those that were in very bullshit places. And uh, took me more than a few tries to make it for, or to get. But just collecting the three crystals and getting out, super. Like, it, well, I won't say super easy, especially like the final level was definitely the hardest one to do it. Uh, unsurprisingly, the last level was the hardest. But that's mainly because the wind mechanics in the game aren't the best. And uh, leave quite a bit to be desired with them. But uh, it, uh, it wasn't bad overall. Gain that one. My final achievement was actually uh, every level has these little statues. That I think they're called gatekeeper idols. And uh, they're just these little... Well, I guess they're not little. They're fairly big. But they're just these statues and you just gotta go up and touch them, right? Just like poke them with your nose, whatever. And then they make a noise and then you're good. And uh, I apparently, as I went through, I missed one. Uh, to be fair, I didn't start getting them right away. It wasn't until later... Uh, I actually learned they were a thing, and then when I decided to go for all, or to beat the levels without dying, when I went in, I just grabbed them as I did it without dying, because, like I said, doing it without dying isn't all that difficult. Alright, so, the elevator's just gonna lead me up. I, I mean, I guess, because I was gonna say I'll just run back and use the control point just before this area, but I guess there's one right ahead of us, so... And I can't guarantee that there won't be a vending machine up here, obviously, so. Alright. Well, we got one vending machine done, anyway. 
So that's something, I guess. Killed one, shot the crap out of the other. Uh, but don't think... Don't think that that counts. Um, but yeah, I do that. Then there's another achievement in it to uh, uh, to beat one of the levels without touching water, and that one was probably more annoying than anything else, if I'm being honest. It uh, it's a very, as you can imagine, a very watery level. Oh goody! What did we get this time? Okay, well, I don't know that I needed two for him. Yep, sure do. Yeah, this, these things aren't great. Oh god, it's alive again! Go away, dude. Did I get it? I did, yes! Levitation, ammo efficiency, shield efficiency, look at all that. So that's the same one that we didn't get last time. feeling that we got another invisible dude. Get him. I know you're down there. There you are. Oh, got it. Cool, I'm glad that I came back here. I'm glad I found that chain letter thing now. Because it got me to come back here and the vending machine had reset, so that's cool. It's good to know that they reset if I f find another one and mess it up. Okay, let's see. Did I get any more damage boost? No. What is this though? Ammo cost while levitating. Eh. Let's get that one. Delete the rest of these that aren't at least rank 5. Okay. And what about down here? What do we got? Or worse C speed. Incoming damage after C. Yeah, we've seen that one before. Whatever, once again, anything that isn't rank 5 can be deleted. Uh, those two are exactly the same. Interesting. That doesn't happen very often. Usually they throw at least a 1% difference in there, but not this time. Alright. Okay, I need to find a, a a photocopier or something, right? Well, I mean, I know it's in the operations center, but hopefully I didn't blow it up. Oh, there we go. This certainly feels familiar. <laughs> Yeah, it does. Okay. Abandoned offices, observation deck, and the utility corridor, which we can't go to. Oops. Okay, well, fast travel back to the offices. I don't know what's going to count as a... Uh, mailing it, like do we put it in one of the two things, or do we like just go and sit it on a desk or something? That's one cent. It's weird that you have to mail them in different locations. And we need to go to the observation deck. Which I 
I guess there's lower access. Nope. Transit terminal. Here we go. Uh, probably need to go up, though. I had to guess, right? Because that goes to lower access, so... Okay, where's the tubes? There they are. Two down, one to go. Alright, last one's in the utility corridor, which is where we're heading eventually. Uh third thing talk to eliminate the darkness, I do believe. This is the one I want to have up, because that's another one that's in the utility corridor. But also in the Eagle Unlimited thing. And then the last one is Eradicate the Mold, which is in the AC systems. And I'm going to assume that we go in and then up. I mean, obviously, if we go in and then down, then I can knock out all of these at once, basically. But... Alright. Let's see, how long did our menu machine hunt take? 36 minutes. All right. It's a weird, a weird video, I'll admit, where we spent most of our time hunting a vending machine. <laughs> well, actually, we got two of them, though, so that's good. I don't know. Like I said, I don't think that it tracks. Oh, no, I guess it does attract stuff. 80% of collectibles. Uh, this is should be the vending machine one. 50%, so I've only got two more to kill. Because, yeah, this is kill 50 enemies with Surge. And then I think that's all of the secret achievements. Because the other one was to attach... Or no, there's two more... Or the one more secret achievement as well, which is just to fully upgrade the Surge weapon. Which I doubt that I picked up enough stuff. To, I actually did. All right. There we go. So that should be another achievement. Uh, I mean, I'm sure that that was one of the achievements. Well, whatever. Uh, but yeah, the other one was to attach the grenade to a thing and throw it at an enemy. But yeah, that'll be it for this part. That has been our... Uh, vending machine hunt as it turns out and then we got a chain letter so we actually did pick up another quest now whether or not you can pick up that quest in multiple places I don't know uh, it's obviously quite possible that that would have been at any one of those uh, two mail delivery things uh, that we went past but hey either way got it started got two vending machines down two to go and since I do believe the achievement was to get 80% of them that means that there must be five total but anyway thanks everybody for watching and I will see you on Thursday where we will make some actual progress in this DLC